Hey guys, Daniel Bates with the Real Estate Tomato and RedesignBlogs.com. Today I wanted to give you a quick update on Facebook fan boxes, is what we've been typically been calling them. Basically, these little boxes, whether they show the fans or they show a stream of your Facebook page activities, but these things that we've been embedding on your sidebar and. Um, through all the changes that have been going on on WordPress and Facebook, um, shifts between the way coding has been um, done in the past, whether it's framed in or whether it's uh, JavaScript or whether it's some sort of stripped down form of JavaScript and just lots of different coding changes. We've had some problems with these. Um, sometimes it looks great on Firefox and it doesn't work in Internet Explorer. Sometimes like this case, it looks great in Internet Explorer, but it's got this like see-through appearance on Firefox. If you're having any kind of problems or if you just want to add these for the first time, I'm going to give you some new instructions on how to do this using a new plugin that we've just added to the directory. So the first step you're going to want to do is go to Plugins and you want to make sure you're under the all tab if this is this is for customers who are on the real estate tomato um, blogs and so I'm gonna come down here we've already added this to our directory and I'm gonna come down here to WordPress Facebook Fanbox widget if you don't see that and you're on your own load of WordPress you can just go to plugins add new and search for this but um, you want to go ahead and click activate and get this activated then you want to go ahead and go over to Appearance Widgets. Once you're there, you'll see a new widget here called Facebook Fanbox. I'm just going to drag this on over here. And you'll see that it's got several options. All of these are easily adjustable, but the first thing that we need is this profile ID. That number is right up here in the address of your Facebook page. Okay, So we just need this little number right here. Now, if you happen to have already gotten yourself a vanity URL, like this is my um, Facebook page, if you pass your mouse over your image, if you look down at the bottom of my screen, right down in this section, you're going to see ID equals 1140 blah 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 blah. That's the same number that we need. And so there's lots of ways that you can still reference that number. Um, but I'm going to head over to this widget. I'm going to paste this in here and I've actually got an old text widget right here so I can kind of um, steal some of the rest of this data. I can see that this 220 width was working great for me, 287 height working fine and then there's a couple of things in here which I'm just going to decode connections equals 10 well that's right here and then stream equals false that means this doesn't need to be checked header equals true that means this does need to be checked the stream is basically those updates and so I can click save on this and I can go ahead and remove this code right here and now once I go back to the site and click refresh this should start working fine for me let's see let me do a shift refresh just to get everything refreshed There we go. So now the, the background is working and if I jumped over to Internet Explorer we'd see that it's going to work just as well here. So play around with the width and play around with the height in order to make things work properly. Um, you might end up with a lot higher number in height if you end up showing that um, the stream which is you know your, your latest status updates. Um, so anyway I hope that helps. Um, that is the Facebook fan box widget. Thanks a lot. For any problems, feel free to email molly at realestatetomato.com.